Alright guys, listen, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I thought I had a, what I guess you want to call a torque screw or a star, star wrench type deal. And the smallest I had was what's called a number 10, and or a T10. So, after dinner, after the drive to the hardware store, I basically just snagged, and any, it's not even a tool, it's, it's a part for a freaking, uh, for a drill. So I just grabbed that bad boy, this is a T9, one lower, so look at that, right in there, just perfect. I'll take that out. And you know what, guys? We'll speed this right up. Okay. So we are done. This is basically the shell that goes with the hard drive. And this is my old hard drive. The Apple hard drive. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to place this guy over here for now. Because I'm actually going to wind up putting it in here. And... There's my new hard drive, which we'll just unplug, which I believe, I don't think you need to grab anything, it's just going to slide right out. Whoops. That was not good. So as you can see here, they are the exact same size, if anybody was wondering what the deal was on them. So what we are going to do is obviously the drive is going to go face down into the shell itself which is exactly how it was on the other one and then the teeth will go in and it will plug in as such I believe let me verify that real quick guys if we pin that down we'll take a look at this real quick here and see that that is like that okay so this does go in here like this and it will slide in directly in there and your tab will be ready to go so without further ado let's go ahead and put the screws back in and again you don't need to watch this so we'll just speed it up Okay guys, we are done. Now one thing I noticed as I was tightening this down, this is just a thin piece of aluminum, metal, whatever. So be careful when you're putting it down. I noticed it kind of started bowing out there on me. Let me just show this to you. Be careful there that you don't bow that out. So you fit in there just fine. Everything is together and what we're going to do is we're going to take our drive and we're actually just going to drop it in. And we are going to take our tab and we're gonna slide it in push it into the drive and that's it guys you're done you're gonna take your tab and you're gonna just kinda tuck it back under there and you are going to take your metal bracket and place it back in head first because you do have some drives here that get to your memory in there some little tabs and you're going to push those back in and put the screws back in. So again, something that you guys don't necessarily want to sit there and watch me struggle through because it would be very epic. So, here we go. <laughs> pain in the butt. Sorry guys. Alright, we're back in and now we're going to go ahead and place our battery in. As you know, the connector's on the wrong side. The connector's there, so you're going to basically just slide it in and drop it down. You're going to take your quarter and you're going to lock the battery in there. So guys, let's see how we made out. What I'm going to do here is, I'm going to go ahead and, and turn this on 
And I'll let you guys see it firsthand. Just give me a second. Excuse me, got the hiccups. Give me a second here. Let's go ahead and adjust you guys. Bring these down. Woo! Go for a ride. All right. Bring you guys right down in front. The usual angle you guys get when we're working down here. And while I'm piddling with the camera here, getting it set up. Look, you can see me. Yay! All right. Let's see how this goes. Knock on wood. Oh, the Apple logo came up. I don't know. Does that mean anything, guys? I don't know why I'm asking, because <laughs> if I don't get this up, it's not going up on YouTube. Because it would just be an epic fail. But while we're waiting for that, I am going to take this and put it in the external hard drive. And basically make yet another external hard drive on my computer. So, while that's loading up, as I'm praying diligently that this darn thing works, I'll go ahead and plug this right in over here. And that's taking mighty long. I don't know, guys. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling warm and fuzzy about this. Holy shnikes. I mean, not that I'm doubting my abilities, but I just, honestly, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, this is true 100% testimonial. Guys, I've never done that before on a Mac, for obvious reasons. Now, I have done it on a PC, and it was never, ever that easy to do that. Guys, everything shows up. Look at that. I can't believe it. Even the super duper that I did to start this whole thing is in there. Now, you know what I really want to see, guys? Exactly how this thing, how well this thing goes. Now, the one thing that I do want to check out, and actually, now you don't think about it, I want to upgrade the memory on this, too. I want to go ahead and open up my screen flow and see that everything is in there. I would be completely amazed. You know what? It may not be in there because I did do the backup and then I did do... Did I do that? No, I did that after the backup. Never mind. What am I saying? Alright. I'm just being retarded at this point because I can't find screen flow. No. Uh -oh. Where's screen flow at, guys? That's not going to be good. Well, I guess I found one thing that's not on here, huh? That's no problem, again, because I have this. I can just plug this up and I can be able to pull screen flow off of there and throw it on here. Again, why that didn't pull it off, I do not know, but hey, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, the operating system pushed itself over. I've never thought that that was possible. I always thought you had to do a clean run and put the thing on there to begin with. Now, even my personal files came over with all my... Here, let's go into my movies, which are all my files that I'm working on for the YouTube. Look at it. It's all in there. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, so guys, look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get to work on this for you and get this up to YouTube tonight. But there you go. That's it. It completely worked. Now, of course, this is called Untitled. I'm going to change this. But just to let you guys know, look, check this out, man. No, no joke. Control, get info. And I'm just going to take this over to you guys and show you right here. Do that. We'll zoom in. And hopefully you guys can see this. This was a 160 gigabyte. You can see now that it is 465 0.44 capacity available 33 th yeah 333.34 which is basically I had 132 gigs you know and it, most of it was kept up by the memory and the hard drive and the operating system and whatnot so now guys I have 333 gigs available let me see fill that up and then I'll move on to a one terabyte and maybe by that point I'll be a little bit better at installing this so guys this is MTP flyers Thanking you so much for sticking by with me. Hey, if I can do it, 
anybody can do it. More coming up this week, guys. Stick around. We have the winner of the 3G Juice. Woo! Didn't think I'd have that there, did you? Winner is going to be picked tomorrow or tomorrow night, and I'll put it up on Thursday. Depending on how I feel, maybe I'll put it up tomorrow night. I'm pretty excited about that. Huge turnout over that. And I've got another one starting up, so I'll probably have one or two videos up there. Maybe I'll try to put that up tonight and let you guys know what's going on with that. So anyway, this is MTP Flyers saying you guys have a great night. And yeah, look at that. I still got that stuff to do. Whatever. I'll talk to you later. See ya!